Greetings. I want to share a story with you. We're going to call her name Rose, uh, and we're going to call the granddaughter, uh, let's just call her Mary. Um, Rose is a 50-year-old grandmother, and um, her granddaughter, uh, Rose, is five years old. They are in a hostile nation um, whose government has recently fallen and has been taken over um, by a so-called government that is extremely hostile towards um, Christians. And um, in the last several months, this family, um, the grandfather and the son and some others were able to escape um, physical persecution by this so-called government. And they uh, were able to escape into a bordering country illegally. Um, and they are uh, in hiding to this day, up to this moment. Um, while they were gone, life in this uh, particular country can be very, very difficult for females um, when they don't have um, a male family representative available to protect them and escort them, especially if the female is a Christian. Uh, this family, uh, they are believers, they are followers of Jesus Christ. And uh, this 50-year-old grandmother and, and five-year-old granddaughter were left behind, um, unfortunately, uh, to fend for themselves. And um, it just so happened that while they were out in public, um, the Taliban got a hold of them. And the grandmother, uh, Rose, was... Um, was grabbed, was physically beaten, um, she was tortured, and she was sexually assaulted while the five-year-old granddaughter was forced to watch. They survived. Um, they are currently safe in a safe house right now. Um, this precious little girl is absolutely adorable. <laughs> she reminds me so much of my youngest daughter. Um, she just has the cutest little dimples. <laughs> Her smile is amazing. Her smile is a contagious smile. Um, she has just a cute little brown haired bob haircut. Um, beautiful big brown eyes that <laughs> just pierce your soul uh, very very precious and sweet little girl and she was forced to watch her grandmother be beaten and sexually assaulted she's five five years old this little girl just wants to be able to play. She just wants to have a good time. She just wants to enjoy life. She just wants to be free. And in this country where they are trapped right now, this is her life. She has to dress and disguise herself as a boy to protect herself from being captured by the Taliban and married off to Taliban soldiers. It's a very difficult situation. And I think it's so often, it's so easy for us to forget that there's a raging war, to forget that, that there are people who are living in these horrible, horrible conditions. And here we are so comfortable, free. We get to choose what we do day in and day out, where we go, where we worship. Our kids can play freely for the most part out in their yard. Um, and on the other side of the planet is this precious little five-year-old girl. who just wants to enjoy life and be free. Their family's been torn apart. 
her grandmother's face is beaten. And she had to watch the government that's supposed to protect their people violate her grandmother in horrendous ways. And her little five-year-old brain has those images in her head that will probably never leave. I'm sure there were sounds coming out of her grandmother's voice that are just horrifying. There's still a war raging in the Middle East and it's going to increase and intensify here very, very soon. There's so many people that need our help. There are so many people that are reaching out and crying out for help. They just want to be protected. They just want to live their life. They want to love the Lord. They want to learn more about God. But they need our help. And so I'm asking you to please pray for these people. Pray for peace. Pray, pray for strength. Pray for increased faith. Pray that the dreams and the visions of Jesus would intensify and increase for these people, that they would know the truth about God, that all their previous teaching would be just demolished in Jesus' name. Pray for God. Ask Him to lead you and how you can partner, how you can be a part of helping these precious people. It is a beautiful culture. They are so hospitable and so full of joy, even in the midst of sheer terror. They message me all every day, checking in. Hey sister, how are you? How can I pray for you? They're asking how they can pray for me. <laughs> I'm learning so much from these precious people. They, they're just beautiful hearts. So I just, um, I ask you to pray to the Lord and ask Him how you might be able to um, participate in blessing these people and helping these people. There's much work left to be done, and, um, and we invite you to participate in that. God bless you, and Maranatha. Mm-hmm.